In this video, we have three different shoe customs that I'm excited to share. First, it's SpongeBob. Two, SpongeBob. Three, SpongeBob. And also for you customizers, stay to the end for a bonus tip. We will be covering how to color block with customizing. Yo, what's up YouTube? It's Orlando. Welcome to Wall of Hype, where we showcase artists that can take plain kicks like Air Force Ones, Jordans, cleats, vans, and turn them into customs that sneaker heads love. But before I start, please hit that like and subscribe button if you're new. We have links to all featured artists and their work in the description below. Our first goal is to hit 1,000 subscribers. Now, let's get started. So our first project, we have a SpongeBob roller skate custom from the designer JD the Painter. The shoes customized is a Maxi Beach Bunny roller skates. The shoe is originally yellow. The design was created with basic color blocking and then, you know, outlining of the characters in black, um, but I think adding it to uh, roller skates is a, was a great idea. But what I love about the design is the water blue, that contrast, having the SpongeBob and Patrick characters off to the side. This is just a cool custom with Patrick, SpongeBob, side panel of the roller skates. Um, the artist did well creating or drawing out the design the colors that was used um, to create the characters spot on adding the outline of the flower icon was a great touch he also decided um, to add a custom name on the inside of the shoe isabella and taking a look at the other shoe we got squidward and mr Krabs. same design same concept um, we also have a different name on the inside so we have logan you have your own custom on your feet as you're rolling down the street. I really think this skates are going to turn a lot of heads. Great job, JD the Painter. Roller skates are becoming popular. And what a better way to start off the journey with your own custom design. Now here we have a SpongeBob slide sandal custom from designer Delisi Creative. The shoe customized is a Nike Victory One slides. Here we have Spongebob and Sandy Cheeks wilding out on stage. On the other sandal, we have Patrick having a blast on the drums. Looking at these customs, a lot of colors were used to create this overall look. We have the oranges, the reds, the different shades of blue. Obviously, we have Spongebob and Patrick with their colors, but just the creative, fun design for some slides. Let's check out the tape removal. You can also see the details and the line work that was used um, outside of just the normal black outlines. You have the little shades of white here and there just to give a little bit more depth and detail into the creative. Delisi, great stuff. I love your work. Keep rocking. Finally, we have a SpongeBob and Patrick Air Force One Custom. The designer, GSP Customize with a Z. The shoe customized, obviously a Nike Air Force One, but this one is the high. First off, just by looking at the shoe, um, the colors are great. Um, I enjoy the uniqueness that was put on each shoe. I think this artist has a lot of room to grow and become a great designer. What caught my eye was the, when you look at the SpongeBob shoe, you know, he took the lines and made them organic. You see the outlines of the browns, um, especially on the Nike swoosh, uh, the back heel panels, uh, the toe box front, um, compared to Patrick, where it's all straight lines and it's it's within uh, the colors. For the SpongeBob, lace guard, strap, swoosh, all that, got its own color blocking. Um, and the same for Patrick. Um, you can see by the Nike swoosh, you know, he added a, a little face there, you know, you have your little details, um, but overall, 
It's a great shoe on the toe box in the front. The toe box has their own unique elements just to uh, add a little bit more fun and excitement to the shoe. As you can tell, uh, GSP Customize um, had fun putting these shoes together. You can see he used different shoelaces, the black on SpongeBob, the white on Patrick. They both have the aqua blue tags. SpongeBob is obviously a big character in, in the custom world. And this just shows a different take on that design. And now for our bonus contents. Here we have Sneaker Queen Customs showing us how to color block when customizing. So here goes Sneaker Queen's step-by-step -step on color blocking. As you guys can see, the prep work is already there. Taping of the bottom, taping of the top. But the first thing that was done was the drawing of the characters. And then everything on the outside, as you can see from her, her mock-up, or from what she's designing on the computer, is grass in the background, two characters in the front. So she started off by color blocking the grass. First, you look at this and you're just thinking, oh, that's horrible. But that's just to get the base down. We start off with the base and then we move on to the next. And then you start to add more colors of that green to not make it look as if it's not covering the leather um, by adding more layers. And then you get the, uh, the additional green and then you start adding in the darker greens, the yellows, the purples to create the flowers, to create the grass. So that was the first step, is color blocking the back, adding the different details, and then as you move along, as you can see the characters are not there yet, but on the next one, she started color blocking one of the characters. You got the reds, the yellow, the, the, the skin colors. You start off with the base colors, and then you come on top with the shading. And then as you can see in her final, both characters are shaded, outlined, and when you look from the start, you don't see the ending. You just see something a little weird. So if you're new to color blocking, I hope that helped. Thank you, Sneaker Queen Custom, for showing us your color blocking process. Keep up the great work. That's it for this video. Please hit that like and subscribe button to help out the channel. Comment below and let us know if the bonus content was helpful or which one of these custom kicks is your favorite? We'd love to hear from you. Thank you for watching and see you in our next video from Wall of Hunt.